This is the instinct that says, you've had enough. You've given it your best shot. You can stand down. You can back off. You can take a knee. This is the instinct that says, you can rest now. Do not listen. Because that instinct is a liar and wants to bring you down. You see, this instinct is a defense mechanism for your ego. It gives you an out. A place to run to, a place of sympathy and amnesty where all can be forgiven. Where failures gather together in comfort and drown their sorrows in lies and deception. Why was Michael and Kobe who they were? Tom Brady, Dwayne Wade, Wayne Gretzky, Muhammad Ali, Floyd Mayweather, all these guys. Not because of their physical gifts. Yes, that had a lot to do with it. It's up in here. It's their mental toughness. Decide, commit, act, succeed, repeat. You are the perfect version of you already. You are the version of you that other people will love. All you have to do is give yourself permission to go be it. And that's going to require you to get uncomfortable. That's going to require you to put yourself out there. People aren't going to get it until they can get it. And you have it in you. And I want you to understand that the reason, most likely, that you didn't achieve what it is that you wanted to achieve is because you don't truly believe that you have it in you to achieve these things. You see them as special. You see the people who accomplish these things as special. And what I need you to understand and what I want you to understand moving into the next year is that all of these people that you observe living a better life than you, in your opinion, all of these people you admire, all of these people that you look up to, all of them, every single one of them, is no different on the inside than you are. When you get knocked down and you get broken open, that's when you really get to know your true self. Suffering is awesome. You know, you get knocked down and split in half. You stay, you walk out in the world. If you choose, you have a choice. You can contract and become bitter and never open up again, like most people, or you can actually use the tragedy or suffering or whatever you've gone through to allow it to purify you. Tragedy and pain is life's greatest purifier. If the lion is the king of the jungle, how can he be the king of the jungle? If he's not the biggest, the elephant is probably one of the biggest. He can't be the fastest because that's a cheat. He can't be the smartest. So he's not the biggest, the fastest, or the smartest. So how does the lion become the king of the jungle? His mentality. That's the only difference of a lion and an elephant. When a lion walks up and sees an elephant, he thinks lunch. An elephant thinks run. Because when a male lion walks up, he may be outnumbered by a pack of hyenas, but I'm king of my jungle because of my mentality. I don't give a damn where you're from or whatever. It's about building your own mentality, being your own hero, being the best person you can be so you're not putting people above you. The worst thing you can ever do in life is put people above you. Because what happens there is you believe you can't reach that. You must believe that you're on a, on a level playing field with every person in the world. And that starts with mentality. It always keeps you in the game, it keeps you in the fight, it keeps you in the battle, it keeps you moving forward. Courage is the will to shape our world into what it can be, when it's easier to simply say that someone else can do. You see, courage is it's recognition that none of us are perfect. And when it's easier to simply live a life criticizing others for what they haven't done, or what they could have done, or what they should have done, the courage is the power step forward into me. That's what lions do. Lions don't give up. Lions don't quit. Lions hunt. That's what we do for a living. I still grind. I love to grind. If you're competing in one of my businesses, I'm going to kick your ass because I'm going to outgrind you.
And that's what a pity party is, is when you have an undisciplined mind and you meditate on the wrong thing over and over and over again. If you're going to throw a pity party, I'll give you three days and that's it. And after three days, you cut off your record player, your iPod, your MP3, and you come up with a plan. Like when you go to sleep, what do you do? You pretend to be asleep and then you fall asleep. Becoming who it is that you want to be is no different. When you decide who you want to be, like today, you have to realize that that's who you were. Okay, and so for you to become who you want to be, you don't just become that. You have to start behaving as if you are that, and then eventually you will actually materialize into that.